Hello and welcome to EucreMedia.com. My name is Sergey, and today I'll be showing you how to make this crumpled paper effect inside Cinema 4D. Uh, I'm sure it's probably not the best way to go about this, but it gets the job done and it definitely gets you out of that hole with the clients, like in my case, when you have like no time to do this. But anyway, let me show you how I came up with the solution. So here's my project inside Cinema, and let's take a look at it from a different perspective. Um, as you can see, it's just a plane and it kind of morphs into a sphere. Something you would see in real life, you know, hands, and you know, two hands kind of crushing a paper into a ball. And actually, that's how I came up with this. I was trying to think, you know, how can I apply the real life situation to cin like in, in inside cinema? And so, but let's let me show you how. Let's start fresh. Uh, let's do file a new project, and let's bring in a plane into our scene. We'll do 1920 the size of it 1920 by 1080 and let's scale that down hold shift about maybe this much yeah that should work and let's um, play with segments I think it's probably too many for me uh, I will let's do about 11 and maybe 8 that works for me. Let's label it paper. Uh, and I found out that it's probably best to have uh, these squares like turn into a like a triangle because it, it looks more natural when you crumple it into a sphere. Y you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's let's convert. Uh, let's make this plane uh, ed editable by hitting this button or just hitting C on your keyboard. And next, let's go into mesh commands and triangulate and it makes it all triangles uh, next let's do a tag a simulation and let's do soft body and basically now we can you know it's a soft body so we can morph it into different different shapes so uh, to do that to morph it into a sphere kind of like uh, like do the whole hand crushing thing uh, we'll bring in a sphere because ultimately th this is like having hands you know when we scale this down it's gonna crush it uh, into a sphere so that's what we're gonna be recreating and I don't want to have this many segments so and also we'll probably need to if this is a soft body this needs to be I'll call it crusher so it has a name uh, crusher will have to be a uh, like a you know, like a collider, so that it can catch our paper and uh, and you know morph it into a ball. So to do that, let's make sure we have all our settings. Let's see what's going on inside by messing with the display. Let's go to lines so we can see the wireframe of it. And right now, the way I have it set up, if I hit play, watch what happens. It freaks out because the collider thinks, like this crusher thinks that it's one big mesh and uh, nothing's empty on the inside so to, we need for this to be empty on the inside so to do that we need to tell this uh, collider tag in a collision where it's a shape we need to go and tell them to be a moving mesh so now when we hit play it interacts with the inside walls which is good and obviously like when it drops down you can tell it doesn't look like a paper paper doesn't flex th that well you know so let's go into a paper dynamics more like soft bodies and let's go into soft body tag here and what is this flexion let's put zero here and let's play it again just see how big of a difference it is see it just drops so that's what we want and i would even mess with the structure probably like 20 take it down to 20. so it's yeah it has more folds and stuff so that that's that would that's basically it for me for for like to set up the paper I think it, that would work essentially but and so next let's animate this crusher uh, let's go into object and we're basically gonna uh, we're going to animate this radius thing so let's go to by the way let's make this whole timeline 30 30 frames and let's go to frame zero 
and set a keyframe by holding control click on this uh, circle and let's scroll it all the way to 30 and let's scale that down like shrink it down to about maybe maybe this much and let's do control click and keyframe it you can ad adjust this all you want so if you don't like what you see you can scale it up and but let's see what we get from this one what what's going on here as you can see uh, our crusher is not catching the paper and that's that's not good so how do we fix that uh, we need for it to be in other, in other words like this crusher has very thin walls and we need to make it thicker so to speak <laughs> but to do that we'll go into a, a collider tag and let's go to collision and like here where it says margin we'll select this checkbox and let's make it 30 centimeters so now when you hit play we get what we want so that's good uh, and really that's basically it uh, let's turn our shading back on and let's make this uh, crusher sphere invisible by holding alt and double click here let's bring a texture in just double click here or create a uh, new material and double click on the material to bring it up I'm gonna turn specular off and I'm gonna bring a new image I already have one here and that's it for this one um, and I'm going to drop it into our paper when you hit play you see it happening but if you want to scroll side to side you, you can tell that it's just it's doing something crazy it's trying to calculate but so to avoid that let's bake our animation let's go into our soft body and then cache and just hit bake and now we can scroll side to side and we can see it in more detail so that's good enough you can always tweak stuff make uh, you know to get whatever result you want to get but just for the technique like you can see how it's made uh, let's bring you can bring a light in um, I'm just gonna bring one in you can light it uh, however you want to I'm just gonna bring one big light in you can do your whole you know ambient occlusion global illumination set this to best you can do all frames I'm gonna set it to HD and then uh, what else you, you know you can do just QuickTime movie or Targa whatever whatever you want you can keep the uh, alpha I think that's that's what I that's I think that's good for me and we can we probably we need to set up a camera so to do that let's do a new camera and I also like to bring in a null object I normally label it cameraman and I drop my camera underneath it select it let's level everything to zero so it becomes so it, it's the same as our null and we can pull on the Z of our camera and then we can go into our camera man and then rotate it 90 degrees so that we're looking straight down you can pull on the Z again and you can do like a little preview let's, let's see what it looks like one frame and obviously you can do better lighting than this uh, you know you can get rid of all these harsh looking shadows and stuff I'm not gonna do that I think this is good enough uh, and really that's basically it you can next you would just hit render and then bring it into After Effects you can reverse it and apply any kind of correction color corrections uh, anything you want really but uh, that is it thank you so much for watching this tutorial I hope you found it useful and please come back next time and be sure to subscribe uh, like this video uh, I don't know share it thanks guys until next time